important that the coaches understand a technical model and what they are trying to achieve. The technical model is broken up into three parts. Take off, flight across the hurdle and landing. In the takeoff, the takeoff foot strikes the ground behind the centre of gravity and this initiates the lean at takeoff as the body starts to attack the hurdle. The lead knee, not foot, is driven at the hurdle and the lower part of the lead leg is restrained until the knee reaches the hip height. There is a strong drive from the takeoff side to assist in the drive across the hurdle and also to counteract the rotational movement caused by the lead leg. The lead foot is dorsiflexed and pushed at the hurdle, not kicked. There is a wide split between the thighs and the shoulders remain square to the hurdle. The lead arm is lifted, ready to be driven forward. In the flight, a line from the chin should drop down over or past the knee. The lead leg remains flexed at the knee and the lead arm is flexed and driven forward but with the hand not passing the centre line of the body. The eye should be focused forward and the trail leg thigh moves flat across the hurdle with the trail foot everted. During the whole flight action, the feet remain dorsiflexed. The trail arm is brought back to the hip and the maximum height of the hips occur prior to the hurdle so that the athlete runs down off the hurdle. The lead arm returns in a swimming motion to move over the top of the trail leg as it passes across the hurdle. The head moves in a horizontal plane from the running across the hurdle and running off the hurdle. On landing, the lead foot strikes the ground behind the centre of gravity, bringing the athlete into a running movement. The trail knee is brought through high and the lower part of the trail leg is brought under the knee and restrained from excessive forward movement. The foot is then driven to the ground and the trail arm brought quickly forward to assist the first step of the lead leg. Balance and running action is regained quickly so as the athlete can attack the next hurdle. <laughs>